Cassine. I'm a musician and today uh, I'm gonna be showing you how to bootleg a cassette tape. The so first thing you need is a pen and a cassette tape. The reason you need a pen is that if your cassette deck doesn't have a rewind function or the rewind function is broken because that happens a lot, you need some way of rewinding the tape back to the beginning so you can record on it. So you take your pen and you stick it in the hole. You kind of keep spinning up until the reel is completely wound in one direction. Something. When you do that, you load the tape into the recording slot. Uh, there's two decks in this particular uh, cassette player. One for recording, they both do playback, but only one allows you to record to it at a time. Uh, but then you can also record cassette to cassette, which is the fun part. So when you have uh, your tape wound to the beginning, you just hit record. And now the music that's being sent from my computer is going to be sent to this cassette. So we can have a bit of fun with it. So now, now that we've recorded some original music to cassette, we need to make more cassettes, and that's when you get another blank and put that in the recording slot. But this time, rather than sending the music, the audio from my computer to the cassette deck, we're going to set them from the other cassette deck, the other cassette spot to this one. Uh, so in order to do that, you hit play and record on both of them if they're wound correctly. And start recording. One of the perks of recording cassette to cassette, or I guess that's better than doing computer to cassette, is you can double the speed and record it a lot faster. So it's kind of easier to duplicate music that's already on cassette than to put new music onto cassette, which I guess is kind of where bootleg culture comes from. EQ your stuff properly before putting it on cassette or else it's gonna sound completely different than what you may have intended, which is, you know, uh, like not always good. Um, that high-pitched hiss that you can hear in the background is called cassette hiss, and that's like the sound of the magnetic like layer that's on the cassette that we're recording to. That's how you bootleg to cassette. Thank you.